And so it's a long distance. It's a long distance. Because you're based in the South. Yeah. Okay. But we see each other. Like, no cheating week. happens? Every week. You cheat every week? No. No, 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 no. I'm saying we, we see each other every week. Oh. Yeah. Let's sit on the couch. Let's talk it out. Come on, join the show. I'll tell you what I know. Oh, talk about it. It's the best podcast. Let's have a blast. As a black queer entrepreneur myself, I don't I don't really have a business, but I do have production. Nothing excites me more than seeing powerful examples of people who look like me doing amazing things, beating the odds against black and queer success in America. So this will forever be a platform for not only, you know, people to share their stories about such entrepreneurs, but also making them and helping them uh, share those experiences to get to that point uh, through strengths, hopes, and maybe, you know, maybe a little messy conversation along the way. No. <laughs> um, unknown user is in the building. Entrepreneur himself. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. You know, it's funny, like. So since I've changed my name to unknown user, a lot of people have referenced me as unknown user. Yeah. So I, I wanted to be respectful to okay. uh, call you by your preferred name. But Hakeem, hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah. So I want to talk to you about a couple of things. For okay. one, being an entrepreneur, black, doing your own thing. What does it take to build a business as a black man in America? Um, it takes confidence. Yeah. It takes confidence. It takes uh, drive. Yeah. And you got to want, you got to want to have it, want to. I did entrepreneurship because I just got tired of um, like working for someone else. Mm. And then knowing that, hey, I'm going to get two grand this this week. Yeah. No, baby. I need, I need two grand this week, this week. And it I've is- noticed that like since I've, because I take, I've taken a break from working mm-hmm. like, um, and that was probably the best nine months of my life. Wow. That's a that's a long period of time. So period I period period I period. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I did call you unknown user though. Why yeah. that? Where'd that come from? Um, it came. Uh, one day I just woke up and I'm like, I'm gonna change my name to unknown user. Yeah. Because for one, when people like I send someone something on Instagram, they think they're blocked. Mm-hmm. Don't block people for real. Oh. Unless it's like a a crypto account that's trying to same take your account. <laughs> same. Um, yes. I want you to see this glow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah. Um, and I just said, hey, I'm going to do unknown user because mm. I prefer people to ask me my name. No. Not just know my name. And so, like, you can go to my Instagram right now. I'm like, damn, what's You like name? to feel special. I am special, though. Valid. But I could care less to feel special from the outside because okay. I, I feel special at all times. Inside. At all times. Yeah. Okay. So I want to talk to you. Being an entrepreneur, you know, scammer society is big amongst this generation. How do you respond to it being an actual entrepreneur? Honestly and truly? Yeah. I don't. It doesn't come across. Really? Um, no, it doesn't. Like someone can, you can look at my Instagram. Yeah. A known user. Yeah. See, you know, things that people glorify nowadays. Yeah. And instantly think, hey, that's a scammer. Or is it? Is this what we're talking about, right? Mm-hmm. But then it's like, um... I don't acknowledge it because I have two businesses Mm -hmm. Um, and then my circle and the people that I surround myself with, it's not even a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it doesn't affect me because you know, what's, what affects you is what you bring in your space. Yeah. So it doesn't enter my space at all. You have two companies, two businesses. Mm -hmm. What exactly are they? Uh, Clothing brand. Yeah. Photo booth rental. So when did you see a void in the photo booth industry? When Um, you're like, aha, I I need to do this. I didn't see a void. I saw uh, um, an increase. Yeah. And uh, demand. And I'm like, mm. hey, I want to get in on this. Okay. But I want to do it the right way. Yeah. You know, like I've had multiple people or know multiple multiple people that have purchased a booth or purchased photo booths. Just to keep it at home? No. Just oh. because they thought that it was like quick money, yeah. easy money, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and they don't have um, a plan or yeah. a drive behind it. Like I'm like, this is going to be a company. This is going to be. A source of income the right way right, i right. need income steady you know what i'm saying do you think social media is a great place to meet people i met you we met from social media yeah. so is your answer yes yes really absolutely i think so too i think it's a great place to meet people but i don't think it's the best for dating you know what i'm saying mm, why do you say that i don't know just because at one point we were all physically um like we were all physically in a spot right mm-hmm. and you could only shop at a spot that you were physically in right right and right. so now with this whole digital age just in comparison people can buy from anywhere mm-hmm. right and so that's kind of like the dating thing on social media it's like how do you know if something really fits unless you try it on 
You know what I'm saying? The organic way. I don't I don't think that's the so best. I think it's a bit. So you prefer to meet someone walking down the street uh-huh. and date and be asked out for a date or some coffee rather than social media. Or vice versa, or me doing the asking. But, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Me personally, I've um I've met so many people off of social media. Me too. I'm not saying I have not. Um, dating too. Yeah. I've me too. I'm not saying social- I have not. Yeah, but I'm that's sure, what, yeah. maybe that's why my view you is know, what it black, is. Black, handsome, yeah, young man, yeah. Um, and people are drawn to us. So, uh, speaking of social media, though, talk, talk you have it. a very electrifying energy on social media. Mm-hmm. What would you say the percentage would be of you always being in a good mood? Um, <laughs> <laughs> was that ninety-seven? Ninety-seven. I would say so. Okay, so what's the other three? Where's that at? Um, I'm tired. I just need some rest. Um, I need to sleep. Get yeah. my thoughts together. Yeah. Get my, you know, home together. If okay. my house is dirty, I'm not together. Okay. So right now, like, my house is clean. When I get home, bed is made. What's one thing someone should not do in your DM? Um, Probably Come say, on. like, I can look at my DM and <laughs> the request. You say you're going to let us know what you don't want to see? What I don't want to okay. see. Okay. Let me see. Give me like two seconds. Oh, not two seconds. Right, you two know seconds. what I don't like? Though? I, I, while you're looking, I'll tell you what I don't like. What? I don't like the cookie crumbing. You know What's what I'm that? saying? The cookie crumbing. What's it's that? when somebody is reacting one day and then maybe they'll blow up something three days later. I am too grown for this. I blow it up. You no, know? no. I'm like, we'll get to about, the point. You like your notifications? Yeah, blow up your notifications. like what's going on? <laughs> and no words are being said. That's confusing to me. So what, what's in there? What's happening? Like weird stuff. Stand up. Um, so up, sexy. Okay, weird, right? Fucking hate it. Wow. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, okay. clean. Okay. Let me know when you're back in town. What? I don't even know you. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's real. Okay. I don't Got know you. you. Okay. When have you noticed though, going back to being an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. if at all, when have you noticed your queerness showing up in a work setting? Um, I think that there's uh queerness in every setting. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just depending upon the person whether or not they want to display it as much. Yeah. Um, I go into a setting no know, knowing who I am. Hmm. Is, does this make sense? Like knowing yeah. who I am, yeah. but I'm not like, I guess uh, should I say flamboyant? Whatever the word you choose. Yeah, I'm not you know out there like that. But okay, I think that um every queer person. Okay. Um displays that differently yeah so like for instance i like i worked in a corporate job before Mm -hmm. and i knew my manager was gay oh and he he was like telling everyone he has a girlfriend oh Um, would you sideline him i didn't like him i know would you you just like stop lying to these people no i was like (laughs) you said now we're like fucking friends oh nice he's gay as hell oh okay (laughs) (laughs) miss honey um Take your glasses off, cause I need to see your eyes. Okay. I gotta, I gotta really get to the point here. Are you ready? Yeah. What's going on in your love life? Um, I'm in a relationship. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you happy? Yeah. How long's it been going on? Nine months. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's like a whole pregnancy. Big baby. Big baby. <laughs> the baby is due. <laughs> the baby is due. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what is your your favorite thing and your least favorite thing of being in a relationship? Um. Favorite thing that I actually have someone that is open to understanding who I am as a person. Yeah. On my on and off days. Mm-hmm. Uh, least favorite thing. Yeah. Is that I now have to change from like what I was doing. Mm-hmm. So like I can care less about someone else. Good. Now I have to think about someone else's feelings, yeah. how they feel, oh, how oh, I um oh, yeah say things, yeah. how I communicate. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm just used to doing what the fuck I want to do. So now it's like, hey, if I say I want to go to L.A., I just get up, look to get go to L.A. Yeah. When you're in a relationship, it's like, you know, I'm I'm gonna go to L.A. Even though I'm still gonna do it. Oh, they I, don't live. They where do they live at? Um, Rome. They live in Rome. Mm-hmm. That's very long. It's very I'm, long distance. I'm just kidding. Okay, where they live? Um, New York. Okay. Yeah. And so it's a long distance. It's a long distance. Because you're based in the South. Yeah. Okay. We see each other. Like no cheating week. happens? Every week. You cheat every week? No, 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 no. I'm saying we, we see each other every week. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's not really the long distance thing does not, um, it's not even long distance for real. Yeah. It's like, okay, I see you. Because that's a quick days. flight. It's a quick flight. Quick flight. Yeah. Okay. Well, my producer told me that you said that you you were a little 
You used the word ghetto. Like, what does that mean? I did not say I'm ghetto. What did that mean? My friend said that. Darn it. Oh, okay. All right. You know what, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hood nigga. Okay. Because you're I, from? I'm from Florida. Okay. And so tell me, because you're from Florida. Did that you doesn't mean I'm like, I don't like I nice shit. Girls. That means I care no, myself well. Absolutely. But bitch, I'll take it there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. And that matters. <laughs> But being from Florida, though, did you feel like you had represent representation growing up under that business umbrella or maybe the gay umbrella at all? Um, no, because I hated the gay people in my community. Mm. Only because it was like, you know, obviously, you know, growing up, I don't know, it's it might be different for you, but like my background is a bit different. Okay. Everyone like wants to portray it straight. I, so I, I feel bad for every guy that's in the same area yeah. that cannot be who they are authentically. Yeah. Um, I do wish everybody could, you know, find their own like f freedom and whatever that looks like for them. It deals with it has a lot to do with women too. Like, mm. there's men that like their ass ate, but now because they like their ass ate, they can't say it out and be free because it's considered gay. <gasps> wow, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so yeah. I think women, girl, bitch, uh -huh. can I curse? Yeah. Okay, girl, let the man be free. You like your ass ate? I'm. Cut the cameras. <laughs> you Cut brought it up. No, I said straight men. Like, do you? I have had okay. my ass ate. It's okay. not a thing. I like to eat ass. Got it. So yeah, it's on the menu somewhere. It's on the menu. Okay, there you mm -hmm. go. And that matters. You like your ass ate? You know, hey, I okay. I've said this. I've had the pride campaign, and we can talk about it because it's already happened season two. <laughs> I said that I. I what I say, Darnell? What I say? What I say? What I could do? I can eat ass for hours. I can eat ass yeah. all day too. All right. Yeah. Commercial? Can we go to commercial? You got a big right? ass. How oh you not like your ass eight? <laughs> you have a fat ass. I'm confused. And you don't like your ass eight? God is plentiful. Yes. <laughs> you got a fruit basket back there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, uh what kind of porn do you watch? Um yeah. Is that a question? Yeah. Should I say gay porn? Okay, what kind? Um, it varies. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 valid valid yeah what, what 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 motivates you though i do want to get back to this what motivates you and what motivated you to open multiple business at a time um what motivates me um having the ability to do what i want when i want mm -hmm. um i know that it's a process mm -hmm. um and things don't happen overnight yeah so um i love the process of growth yeah um but what motivated me yeah just knowing that the things that I like, the things that I want, my mother's not going to buy it for me. What's the end goal? The end goal? Yeah. Uh, to employ people. Good. That's good. I like and that. And have them work for me and Ooh. I'm sitting at home telling someone else, hey, do this. Speaking of sitting, what do you normally think about when you're sitting on the toilet? I sit on the toilet like I shit like every time I eat. <laughs> in a sense. So like I have, I know people that don't shit like within like three days. Uh-huh. I shit every day. Same. Every time before I get in the shower, I try to take a shit. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking about? Um, it depends. I'm probably on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's in the morning, I'm reading my daily devotional. Mm. Um, I might just be sitting in the dark with a candle lit. Okay. Yeah, I love candles. A candle lit. Can we have some shots, please? We okay. So I want to play a game with you. Is that cool? That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna play a game. It's called Can You Imagine? <laughs> okay. It's kind of like a you know which one is more likely for your case scenario. Okay. Okay. So it's gonna be plain. It's gonna be simple. Four shots. Oh yes. Okay. Let's do it beforehand. Let's do it. Just sit it down. Sit it down. Okay. Sit it down. Thank you so much. Give it up for Darnell, everybody. Oh my gosh. Four shots. Oh gosh. You 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 drink brown. <laughs> I do drink Okay, the producers had told me. Okay, so cheers. 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 Okay, here it goes. You ready? I'm ready. I got to take the shot now? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Can you imagine mm -hmm. going broke or going homeless? Neither. You got to pick one. Because I think that I have a hustle in me, I yeah. probably would never go broke for real because okay. I'm going to always get some money. Okay. One way or another. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll sell everything I have to make sure I have a dollar. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also, with a, I'm just grateful. 
yeah. that God provides a roof over my head. Amen. Um, so I can't see myself. I can't picture myself. I don't. I don't foresee it. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I can't pick one. Can you imagine dating a liar or marrying someone who is bad at money management? Which one? Uh, money management. Yeah. It would probably be me. Okay. <laughs> can you imagine losing your passport overseas or accidentally posting your nudes? Passport. Mm. I need to get home. <laughs> the news, they'll live. Oh, wait, so you can imagine your news being out there. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Can you imagine not being able to sing or not being able to dance ever again? Because you're always dancing on social media. Sing. You can imagine not being able to sing. I can imagine not being able to dance because I like to sing. You're playing the game backwards. Oh, shit. Are you dyslexic? I might be. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine never wearing underwear? Which one is more likely? Which one can you see for yourself? Okay. Can you imagine never wearing underwear or forever skinny dipping whenever you're in a pool? Um, it depends because, fuck it, I can imagine never wearing underwear. Okay. Yeah. Can you imagine marrying for money or marrying for love? Both. Yes. I can imagine both. Yes. Okay. Can you imagine being best friends with the city girls or best friends with Meg the Stallion? City girls. I'm from Florida, nigga. What wow. You What's your favorite song from them? Um, city girl, play. run the 305. Nah, nah, Get nah, old nah, booty, nah, nah, ready nah, face, nah. tick toss, I period. I don't know the it's, it's the intro. It's the JT intro. Oh, yeah. yeah. You like to get straight to the point. Straight to the point. Okay. Well, what else is coming up for you, Hakeem? Um, as far as what? Life, business, Life, business, marriage, maybe, maybe relax, dude. I keep hearing this a lot. Like, seriously, oh, relax. Oh, okay. Damn. So what's next? Answer the question. Um, growth, growth, continual growth. I love that. Yeah. Continual. In every aspect of my life. And what is the key to happiness? Um, being secure with who you are as a person mm. and not caring about what everyone else is thinking or doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. Well, here's to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Another shot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna leave fucked up. Okay. Well. Well, the car service is outside. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. Here it is. Cheers. You're on vacation. No, no, no. So wait, before we take this. Yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna say a cheers that a good friend of mine, Carlton Curry, would yeah, say. Yeah. Um, we got we got to redo it. Okay, uh, come on. I had two drinks in my hand. It's horrible. May <sighs> Double we fister. Live as long as we want and never want as long as we live. Mmm. So, I felt that in my you, chakra. Yep. Yeah. Season three, we're going up. Cut the cameras. Stop. Seriously. Hey friends, thanks so much for tapping into this episode. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow for more right here on YouTube and wherever you stream your podcast. Oh, and visit RGJ.com and follow me on social media at RGJ Speaks, okay? <laughs> and don't miss our weekly conversations right here on the Archie Podcast. Get into it.